I hereby summon to this place next week every person within the sound of my voice. You shall be judges. Satisfy his passionate attack. Yes, he'd sneak in to their bedrooms, sink his pearly teeth right near their breast. When the nighttime turns to morning, he must leave them for his shrouded rest. The vampire loved the ladies, and he whispered sweet seductions in their ears. I said, The vampire. Love the ladies. He needed them to pass the endless years. Though the vampire loved the ladies, and the ladies swooned and sorrowed for his touch. Yeah, the vampire. He loved the ladies. His undoing was in loving them too much. Pale and restless in the morning, the lady rises cold as clay. She cringes at her crucifix and dreads the light of day. They go searching for his coffin through the ruins of a castle in the marsh. As the day fades, they discover him and drive a wooden stake right through his heart. The vampire loved the ladies. Every night he climbed into their perfumed beds. Oh, the vampire loved the ladies. Was it bloodlust when he kissed their pretty heads? Yeah, the vampire loved the ladies. In his evil, the only mortal flaw. Oh, the vampire loved the ladies. They were the closest thing to light he ever saw. Doctor Jekyll. With all his wisdom, had an ego with another side. Now you find him in the wax museum with his good friend, the famous Mr. Hyde. Jack the Ripper had all his glory, and the demons got to Frankenstein. But the hero of our story was really just a ladies' man. The vampire loved the ladies. He whispered sweet seductions in their ears. Oh, the vampire loved the ladies. He needed them to pass the endless years. Yes, the vampire loved the ladies. In his evil, the only mortal flaw. Oh, the vampire loved the ladies. They were the closest thing the light he ever saw. 